Hello everyone, welcome to Educative Newsroom. We are coming to take you through how to use Excel on your phone to be able to uh, record students' mark, prepare the um, report for them, that is, add the individual marks together with the examination, get their total, do the position. So maybe the only thing you need to do is to write the numbers that is the 50% class assessment, 50% uh, exam, and then the total in their report. All other things will be done for you automatically. You only need to input the numbers or the marks. Then it will do everything for you automatically. Now, uh, we, has, uh, we will be moderate with our speed because we know anybody that is here or want to watch this, uh, doesn't have the advanced knowledge because people with advanced knowledge wouldn't watch this or maybe if they watch, they would just glance through. But because we know people who do not have any uh, info, any knowledge at all will be here, so we'll be moderate with the speed. Also, we are going to make sure that we learn with practice. It's not going to be theoretical, it's going to be practice. So whilst we work, with whatever we do, We'll be learning along the side. We are not going to tell you Excel, this is this, this is that. If you want to do this, you know, we'll be working. Takachi. So, as we are going, you'll be learning so that you can also do the same thing, but in a very orderly manner. We are on this page. This is a template that I've already done. But how did I get here? So, we need to close this and go into my apps and pick WPS app. So you look at the bottom three lines. WP office is there. We'll take it. We'll press on it. It's open. So because this is the last document I was working on, it has opened here. The same way on your phone as well, the last document you were working on or the last document you have watched is what to open when you try to open a WPS. So what do you do in such a case? We have to press the back key at the bottom. So let's press the back key. So once you press the back key, it's asking that you want to save or discard. In my case, I want to discuss. But if it's a document you like on your phone, you have to save as well. So I'm discarding this. Good. So now that it is, uh, is discarded, we expect to see, good, this template or this window is open. We, are, we can see this plus sign at the bottom right here. I'll press on it. So after pressing on it, we'll see documents, uh, PPT, XLS, PDF, and then the rest. Our interest is in the XLS. So let's press on it. So whilst we are here too, there are so many templates of the Excel sheets. There are so many templates of the Excel sheet, but we do not want a template. We want to design our own thing. So we are going to pick the plus. That is the blank space. So we are going to press on the blanks there. I've pressed on it. Now we are on this space. So like I said, this is not a theoretical thing where we are going to be learning a name of a cell. For instance, where I have just pressed is B5. And the next, this one is a C4, but we are not going to be learning all those things. We'll be working. Anything that comes up, we'll learn it along the side. Or we'll do it and go. Now, whilst we are here, you'll notice that before you can enter any student's mark, you have to have the student's name. So let's input the, the headlines of all that we, we are going to need. So one, good. You see that I've just pressed the, the keypad is not showing. How do I input the mark? I have to press inside there again. If I press inside there again, you see there's edit, copy, and the rest. So I have to press edit. So because I press the edit, you see that the keypad has come. So let me just start typing name. Good. So I can just go to the next one. Let's say air size one. We go to the next one, air size two. The next one, air size three. Good. So we need that. The next portion will be the total of all the air sizes. Total of air sizes. And that will be over 10, 10, 10. Good. We have not indicated um, the marks for the individual um, air sizes. So I'll go there again. Now you notice that when I press inside there again, 
I press where I've written there, there's a swan. When I press that again, there's no edit sign showing. But if you look at the bottom of this screen, before you reach the before you reach the keypad, there's a white blank space. Now it's not showing, but if I press in the exercise one, you see that there's uh, before you reach the keypad, you are going to see exercise one inside that box there. That's where you, you can do the editing. So we press there again. You see that you press again, you see that the, the cursor is there blinking. So you can add whatever you want to add to it. So you are going to put slash 10. So it means the exercise one is over 10. Let's put the exercise two. We are going to do the same thing. So we are going to do the slash 10. That's meaning it's over 10. The exercise three to the same thing. Press that again, dash 10. Good. So what it means is that the total, the total of the exercise is going to be over 30. So that's the total of the exercises. Good. Now let's go to the next field. We can have maybe say um, test. Test one is over what? So let's make it also maybe over 10. The next one is test two. Also over 10. So we are going to have the total of the tests. So total tests. The test, there are two of them, so that's 20. Good. Now let's go to project. Project 1. Maybe you can make a project over 20. And then the next one, the project 2. Also over 20. So what it means is that the total of our project is going to be uh, 40. Good. Now we have this. Remember we must have the exercises, all the exercises plus all the tests plus all the projects to give us a total cumulative mark. Total cumulative assessment. I'm writing it there. Good. So let, let's go to the next one. I'll press the next one again. That is, let's go to exam. That one probably you are marking over 100. So I'm indicating 100. Good. Uh, so you notice that I have not indicated when you have the cumulative of the class assessments. Test, SI plus test plus project. You have to convert the total of the cumulative assessment into what? 50%. Now, you notice that I've already write, written exam 100. There are two ways I can do this. I can decide to clean that exam and write my project in. Or I can decide to insert a cell in between. That's another column in between the, the total cumulative assessment and then the exam. So how do I insert the... The column. I'll have to press on either the M or the, the L. So I'm pressing the M. So you see that because I press the M, this uh, drop that have come. When you scroll it up, you are going to see insert column. So I'm going to press insert. You see that uh, another layer of column has come, a blank have come. So that I can now indicate here fifty percent. 50% of the cumulative assessment. Good. Now I can continue the work. Now we have the 100% mark. The 100% we must convert it to 50%. So 50% exam. 50% of exam. Good. Now remember we have 50% at the continuous assessment side and we have 50% on the exam side. So we might have the total. So total uh, cumulative assessment and exam. Good. So we have that. Now we also need uh, grade, the grading system. 
And we may also need the position. Good, we are done. However, you notice that um, you notice that the the numbers that are assigned to the column name is attached to number one, and then the number two is where maybe we are going to input the names. So let's input the names there. So the first name, what's the name of our first students? I'm going to put a. Uh, uh, Tete Joshua. The next one may be Abdul Abdul Wahab. The next one may be um, Agbe Yao. The next one may be Adwa Mansa. Adwa Mansa. Good. And then the fifth one, let's say we are putting a coffee uh coffee mensa or uh Ajay. Ajay coffee. Good. So you will notice that we are five students, but they are the first one is aligned to number two on the Excel template, and the last one, uh, which is Ajay's Kofi, number there's a fifth student, but it's aligned to number six. This thing can confuse uh, during the process, so we must indicate or we must also insert another cell, another column actually that will give us the serial numbers so that we can easily match them one by one. So let's to insert a column we have learnt it earlier. We are going to do it here again. So we are going to press on the A and scroll the menu down and insert column. Good. So now we now have column. We can now number this on number and we can make it number one, number two. Now in indicating the numbers, you can either press enter to continue to the next cell or you can use your fingers to move it. To go to the cell we want to write. So that's five. All right. Congratulations for setting up the headline or the major items. Good. Now you will notice also that this, the columns, some of them are big. Look at where the numbers are one and the, the big space is there. The name to some of them are entering to the other one. Same applies to some of the headings. So we have to resize them. In order to resize them, we are going to press on the column, the letters. So in this case, I'll press on the A. It has selected. You will notice that between the A and then the B, the borderline between the A and B, there's some thick white line there. You, you are going to press it and drag it sideways or where you want to send it to. Now we are reducing, so I'll move it like that. Good. Maybe the name side, I would like to open it. So I'm going to drag that side sideways. Good. Now the mark, I'm going to also resize it. Then the, this one, I'm also going to resize it. The next one, resize. The next one, resize, but a bit. Good. The next one, resize, that's the G. The next one, resize. Whilst we do this, we'll be making some intentional mistakes. The whole thing that the whole exercise will be doing, we'll be making some intentional mistakes so that uh, we'll correct ourselves for you to know that if you make such mistake, you'll get it. So if you look at this K that I've picked, if you don't take care, you can overpress, you can overshift, and the whole thing will be gone. So we have J, but K is not there, then there's an L. You may look for it. If you are not abreast with SL, you may be confused. So what to do is that you try to press along there and try to move it. Good. Let's reshape it a bit. Right. So that's that one. Let's say the L will move it. The 40 is not showing well. 
the max must show us so that you can easily connect with them. So we're going to put this one total cumulative assessment. Okay. So you notice that this total cumulative assessment we did not indicate over what? Over what? So the total cumulative assessment is all exercises. The exercises are three, three, three. That's thirty. The test are twenty. That is fifty. The project is forty. So forty plus we have thirty, twenty. That's fifty plus forty. That's ninety. That is ninety. So the same way. How do we edit this uh, total cumulative assessment to make it slash ninety? What we'll do is, before the keypad, you will notice the total CA there. We are going to press inside there. The cursor has come. Then you, make, you bring your slash and then introduce your 90. Introduce your 90. So our total here is 90. Good. So we can continue with the resizing. 50% cumulative assessment. The O. Also, cumulative assessment. Uh, all right. The the Q. Maybe you need to open it a bit up. That's total uh, community assessment and then the exam. Then the grade two, we may leave it as such. And then the position two, we may close it a bit. Congratulations. If you are able to do up to here, you have done very well. Now, the most or the best thing to do after reaching here is to save the document because anything can happen. Emergency can come, you leave your phone down and go and come. The document may not be saved. So how let's see how we can save the document. Now, if you look at the very I've pressed the back key to take away the keypad. If you look at the bottom, you are going to see the corner. The bottom left, which is the four, those four boxes there, you press on it. It will open a window. You go to file, just beside the home here, the file. So we, you can see save as there. So you are going to see, I press the save as. Good. Where do you want to save into? I want to save into documents. What name do I want to give to it? So I would like to name it. Uh, Tutorial How to let me make it uh, Assessment on phone Assessment on phone tutorial Good, so I can now save it Good, so I can now save it properly Fine like you can see it's telling me, it's trying to tell me that the characters or the way I'm trying to save it is not working out. It's trying to tell me that it's not working out. So let's go to our documents to see whether it is there. Go to my files. Uh, I have to go to browse and locate my documents. Good, it's there now. So we have, like you, are, you can see, because I have first saved the whole thing, it has opened, it has saved uh, twice. It has saved twice. The first one is uh, assessment on that, and the, the other one to the same thing. Now I have to take one out. I have to take one out, but I need to be careful. So. When I come here, let me close the whole thing and try to open and see which one is the problem one. So I'm trying to open this one. It's Excel document, open with sheets. I can decide to open with the Excel, the WPS office. So if I press there, it's going to bring me here. Good. So that nothing is there. Good. Let's just hope the other one is there. This one, if you take this particular one, office, WPS office, good. So it means it is that second one. And it is glaring, or it's, it's glaring because if you look at the byte attached to this, is 8.74, and this one is zero. So 
is all about how I was forcing the things to save. So the first one didn't work out. But fortunately, the second one is there. Now I can close this thing and start any other time. The same way, now that we have this, maybe I've done the very first air size, I can pick, I can now put the max there. The first one, of course, I have to, I have to press inside twice for edit to come. I press one, press again for edit to come. I've not taken it up. Now I can now input the max over 10, so maybe 5. Like I said, you can use enter to move the cursor or you use the your fingers to move it. 6, 7, and then the 9. Then the next one, maybe I have 8, 7, 7, uh, 9, 9. Let's go to the third air size. I will have maybe 7, uh, 5, 6, 8, and then the, let's say 4. Good. Now, I have done this for the three exercises, for all of them. Save down. Good. So, as we have done this, and you want to close and continue later, you go to the same three process, the, the bottom left there, the four bosses, you press it. When you press it, you go to file again. Now you can save it. You can save it there. Good. But because here is saver, what if you are doing savers to save with a different you also to put another name? But what you can also do is if you look at the top, the very top of the page, we have done. Then we have that box there. That is a save button. So you can just press it and to save for you. So let's press it. So uh it's trying to save it again just like that that is our document we just is saving this as a second time good it has saved again now we can close this again just for the purposes of clarity let's go to our documents go to documents and see So you notice that we have another saved as there. It's because it's saved as so it's come with a different. So this is the updated version. As time goes on, like I said, we are learning by practice. So as time goes on, we'll show you the one that we can just save without saving as, as a second uh, document again. So what it means is that this is our updated document. So we are going to pick that one. We are picking it using our WPS office to open. You see that it has brought us here. Good. So now that we are here, the total for the air size is how do we input the max? It's very easy. So as we are pressing inside there, we we'll press again for edit to come. We we'll pick the edit. So now that we have edit, we are going to input equal to sign. You press equal to equal to then we are going to select the cell so the very first one is not that one so you see that my fingers press a different rule not the rule aligned to it so i'm going to clean it with the back key so i've cleaned with the back key so i'm going to pick my post i'm going to pick that very first top one good pick the next the second one All right, let's restart it again. The keypad is always trying to misbehave and the phone. So I'm going to press this side again, edit. Good. So I'll let me restart it. I'm going to remove the very first one that is there. We we'll start with equal to sign. Equal to, then press the very first. Uh, wow, I need to input plus. That's the problem. So after I press the very first one, I'll, I'll make it plus yes i'll bring plus wow equal to the first plus the second plus the third so those are the three rules 
So I just have to press a green sign beside uh, where uh, just on top of the keypad by the, the three column that I've selected. So I press the, that green sign there. So you see that's 5 plus 8, that's 13 plus 7, that is 20. You don't need to do this for all the other ones. You don't need to do for all of the other ones. What you need to do is you press on the, the cell that you have done for. You press inside and hold. You see that these three, uh, these four lines has come. So you are going to drag this one to hold the bottom and drag it down. So now that I hold the bottom and drag it down, you see that it has done for all of them. Let's say the second uh, max. So 6 plus 7, that's 13. 13 plus 5, that's 18. So it has done like that for them. Good. Now, let's go to the, the next bars. The test. If you pick the test, the test one, what are the marks? So to input again, we are going to put, press the second time and press the edit to input the marks. So the test is also over 10. It's um, eight, seven, uh, six, five, five. Let's go to the test two. Uh, also eight, seven, six, nine. Six, nine. Then the last one is four. Good. Now we are going to do the total for the class test as well. Now doing the total to how we did the first one is the same thing we are going to do by finding the total. So I've pressed inside there. Now you can press there again and press your. When you press inside there, you press there again, you are going to have. Uh, the edit is not showing good so what it means is that before the key where we are the space just on top the space just on top of the keypad we can do the rest of the work there to continue with the editing so you are going to do so those are the two ways if you press inside twice and it's not coming you can just come and continue press inside the the second pressing you press inside the the bar on top of the keypad there so let's press our equal to sign plus the first cell, the equal sign we, press, we put the cell, plus the second one. Then press the green, uh, the tick mark, just by the bar. So that has given a total, eight plus eight is actually what? 16, it's our 16. So what we do, you need what to do for all of them. You just have to press, uh, press and hold inside the 16 and drag the bottom down. It's that now for all of them. Good. Now let's go to the projects over 20. So we are going to have, uh, let's do our edit. 20, we are going to have uh, the first person, maybe 15, 14, 16, 17, uh, 17. Then the next project, they had maybe the 17, 15, uh, 13, uh, 12, and then the 15. Good. We are going to do the total for them as well. The same process. You press inside that place. You can start to press inside again. If the edit is not coming, after the first pressing inside that particular place, we come to the bar on top of the keypad. We press inside there, we go and pick our equal to sign that we select the cells. So the first project, you press the plus and the second one. Then you press the tick sign, it's done. Again, you don't need to do for the individual students, you press inside the hold and drag it down. Good. Let's go to the total. Now, this mask can be confusing sometimes. So you can separate them with what? By bolding some of them or even adding colors. So let's bold in the, the totals, the separate totals. 
So, so the total air size, we are going to press on the F. Then if you look at the bottom, we have the B, A, and then the, that container, as if something is pouring, that is the color. So let's press the B, which is the bold. We are bolding it. Let's give it a color. We press that container and give it a, a yellow color. Good. So this is our air size total. Let's pick that of uh, the test total. Uh, the test total is the eye. We bold it and also give it a yellow color. Let's do the same thing for the project. We bold in it. We select the L, bold, and give it a color. So these are our three different uh, totals. The total air size, total test, and total project. Now we are going to look for the total continuous assessment. Total continuous assessment. So in this case, we are going to have the air size plus the test plus the project. So the same thing we're going to do. We we'll press inside. You can press the we press inside. Press again to see whether edit to come. Now that the edit has come, we pick the edit. Then we can now do our equal to sign equal to. Now we are going to add the. Remember this is the total cumulative, so we are going to be adding the the subtotals. So the first one twenty. Then we press plus. Good. The second one, we press plus. Then we go to the third one. Third one. Then we cannot press the we cannot press the tick sign. Now it's done for us. So now that it's done for us, we can now select press and hold and drag it down. Good. It's done for us. We can decide to give it a green color for success. Pick it again. Because it's yellow that you are using, when you press it, to give you, uh, the, if you press the, the color container to give you the existing color, but you have to press it again to change. So that's is green. Congratulations for reaching here. But of course, we have not, we are here to find the 50% for the cumulative assessment. Good. Now let's let's now find the fifty percent, fifty percent of our cumulative assessment. Now, first of all, let's uh, let's open up the total cumulative so that we see the over the overall total. So we expect the cumulative total to be over ninety. Now, what is the? We are coming to find fifty percent. 50% of this 90. Or we are going to convert, not that find. We are going to convert the 90 mark into 50%. Remember, converting is different from finding. If you ask me, find 50% of 90, that is just half. Half of 90, that is 45. But converting the 90. 90 to 50 percent converting to 50 percent may not necessarily be the 45 may not necessarily be half of the 45 so let's see how we are going to do that now the convention you can do the conversion as very easily let's go into our calculator and just pick this you may not need to do this one but that is if your Total cumulative is 90, but if it's different, we need to do it. We said that 90, let's remember our ratio of proportion. If this equals to this, then this equals to what? But I'm not going to bother with the calculation. So, because we are converting 90, which is the, the total cumulative mark to 50%, what it means is that we are going to do 50%, so that's the percentage, 50 over 90. We are going to find the a factor to be using to multiply the mass. So 50 divided by the 90. So com if you convert uh, 90 to 50 percent, the factor you are going to get is uh, the factor you are going to get is 0 0.55556. 0.55556. Six good, so let's just take like this. So, assuming this is this, you notice that if you use 
50 divided by 90, 0 0.556. This is a constant factor. So if the person got 90, 90, so you multiply this by 90 again, you see that you are going to get 50. This is going to be a 50%. If the person gets 80, you use it to multiply by 80. So the person 80 will be 44. 44 percent because we are converting 80 into 44 and like i said if you are taking a raw calculation 50 percent of 40 and uh, 50 percent of 80 which is half of 80 is 40 but notice that in this case it is not 40 it is 44 so that is it so because our figure is 90 we are going to do 50 divided by 90. if your total cumulative is 80 it's going to be um 50 divided by 80. This is your constant you are going to be used to multiply. If your cumulative is 70, that's going to be 50 divided by 70. 0 0.7143. That's running up. That's what we are, this constant is what you are going to be using to multiply the mass the students get. Good. So now in this case, we are having 90. So 50 divided by 90. So our constant we are going to be using to multiply the student mark is 0 0.555356. and 6. 5, 5, 5, 6. We are writing it up. So let's go back to our work. Now, to convert the very first one, we press inside, press edit. Again, we are going to have press equal to our, our constant. We are going to write our constant 0 0.555. Six, then we times times the first mark here. You don't need to write it. You can just press the cell. When you press it, that's it. Times that place. When you press uh, the uh, the mark sign. So when you convert sixty eight percent into fifty percent, if you convert sixty sixty eight cumulative into fifty percent, this is going to be thirty seven point seven eight zero eight. You don't need to do this for all the students. You just press and hold and drag the button. Good. Good. We can again we can decide to bold in it. We are bolding it. Let's go to the exam. The same way we are going to have what mark did the student get through the exam? We press inside there again for edit. Now editing it, uh, maybe the first this on the list got um, 55. The next person got uh, 62. The next person got uh, 85. The next person got uh, 42. And then the other one got, uh, let's say, 70. So these are the students. Now we have to also convert, we have to also convert the 100% that the student gets into what? 50%. This one is a bit busy, a bit easy, but we are going to go through the process. We are converting 100% into what? 50%. We can just go straight into, because this 100% to 50%, that's half. We can just go straight and divide into two. That is multiplied by 0 0.5. But let's look at the calculation again. Because we are converting 100 to 50%, it's going to be uh, 50 divided by 100. That's 0 0.5. So this is what we're going to be using to multiply the student mark if we're doing it manual. But in our case, it's not manual. So we are going to do for the very first students. You press there and press again for edit. If it doesn't come, if you press there, the edit is not coming. Just come inside the, the bar on top of the, uh, the keypad. And just press inside the, that, this particular uh, bar. Good. So now that we are here, we are going to again go with equal to... Our constant here is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 times the very first cell, which is the, the mark for the exam mark. That's that. When you select it, that is 27.5. Good. You don't need to do for the rest. You just press inside the hold and drag it down. Drag it down. So that is what we have. Let's build it into as well. We are... Okay. The bolt is at the bottom, so I'm pressing the bolt. It's bolding. It's bolding. Good. So now we are going to the total of cumulative assessments and that of the exam. 
Let me open up that column again for the exam to show properly. Right. So now that the very first column, press there, press it again for edit. Our edit has come. Then we can now introduce equal to sign. Then we sell the one to add the very the fifty percent for the community assessment plus the second one plus the exam fifty percent. Then I press my uh, the grid sign. That is the total there. You don't need to do for the rest. You just press inside and hold and drag. Good. So we have seen our marks that are here. Congratulations if you are able to meet it here. Now we can decide to give it mark. Now that we are here, the mark the colors we can decide to give it colors. We press it again to be able to change the color. So red. I guess some people may not like the red. Then give this one to the red. And then the the total of the cumulative and that I'll give it what maybe green. Good. So now what it means is that our interest here for this whole exercise when it's time for reporting is the red, red, and then the last green. Good. Congratulations if you are able to make it up to this spot. Now there's another another thing that we need to do as we be aware. Now that I have gotten our fifty percent, the second fifty percent in the total, you you know that the individual mass will not matter to us again. We don't need them. If you remove any of them, you are going to change the marks. But if you want to actually change some of the students' mark here, you can do it without using correction fluid. You just have to clean one mark, uh, one number, and and add it. It will reflect in the whole uh, calculation that we have done. Good. So now let's minimize all the cells with the marks and leave the most important one. So I'm going to pick them one by one and just minimize them. The next one, minimize. Next one. So this, the one I'm minimizing, you can, you can minimize them after inputting. After inputting every mark or for every exercise so that when it's getting to the end of the semester you want to do for every, you want to do the whole uh, overall calculation then you cannot open them up but that also has a disadvantage the disadvantage is that sometimes you can make a mistake and clean something if it is closed like that you may not know good so now i'm closing them up even the exam now that it's converted to 50%, I don't need it, so I'm closing it up. Good. So now I have the most important fields to work with. The most important fields to work with. Now, to do the positioning and then the grading, if it is the mass, you notice that the first one is 65, but the bottom is 70. The middle here, the middle we have 75 mixed up. So if you want to do use this, use it like this to do the the grading or the positioning, it will be complex or to be it's it's not the reason we are doing this. The reason for using Excel is to make it organized and be able to do our thing easily. So what do we do? We have to now um sort or arrange our thing in the order that we want, filter it either from ascending or descending or descending towards ascending. To do that, we have to select the whole thing. We have to select the whole table, as that we have done from the number to the last mark. Because if you don't do that and you you filter, the ones that you have not selected will not filter along. Just for instance, maybe you have selected only the marks without the names. When you filter, the marks will change position but the names will be at a place uh, they are existing places so um, you may give a uh, wrong mass to the uh, different students so now that we have selected this we have to go to the bottom the bottom left those four uh, blue signs are there i'll pick it up when it opens we'll go into um, view 
So when we are in view, you see that uh, one of the things you can see there is filter, which is not selected or is off. So we are going to enable it. Good. It's enabled. Now that it's enabled, we can do our things with it. So just because we have enabled it, you see that against the marks, the headings, against the headings, you see some arrows there. You see some arrows there. Those are the arrows that we are going to use to filter. And whatever we filter or whatever we arrange to affect the whole thing. Now, this is the trick. On the phone, on the phone, and using WPS especially, you must select everything, including the heading, before you filter. But when you filter, it will affect only the mass changing position. It will not be start with the heading. But on the computer, or Microsoft, uh, Microsoft. Those one you don't need to select the marks. You don't need to sorry. You don't need to select the headings. So now that I have selected this, let's come to the total cumulative assessment exam. Let's press the that small arrow there. It's asking us to either ascending or descending. So let's do descending. That's from highest to lowest. So if I press this, good. You see that the marks have now arranged from the highest to the lowest. 75, 70, 65, 64, 58. Bingo. We are done. And you, you will notice that the serial numbers. Agbeya now is the first. But the serial number is number three. Good. Now the, the same way. Now that the, we can, we are able to arrange this in order of uh, descending. We can now use here to do our grading. Whether A, B, C or... Uh, Excellent, whatever, whatever you do it. We are not going to bother here because this differs for many schools, especially at private schools. They use different grading systems. So we are going to remove it. So we are going to use this particular column to learn how to remove a particular column. If you want to remove a column, you press on the, the tag a character, that is the R. You scroll down, you are going to see the uh, delete is not there, but let's press more. When you press more, you are going to see delete column. So when you press the delete, it's gone. So now position is available for us. We can now do the positioning by writing first, second, third. So let's write and see. Let's write the very first one. Edit. Let's write one inside. One. Good. Let's select inside two and press and hold. Good. Uh, I wanted to try to drag it, but it's not dragging, and because of time, let's go the crude way. But on the phone, you can just on the computer, you can do it easily, like uh, very easily. Good. So now we have the very first one, which is the first position, or well, let's make it first. And it's that is uh, first when you have the number showing up like this. Where that I'm not trying to locate where the characters are or ABC are on top of the just below the bar where we have been writing. There's ABC there. You press inside there, it will bring you back your your keypad properly. So let's write first. Then we go to second. We go to third. We go to fourth. We go to the fifth. So this is their position. Good. This is their position. Now I want you to take note of something. I want you to take note of something so that we are going to make a particular mistake for you to see how to correct yourself in case you make such. You see that Agbe, which is number three on the list. Serial number three is the first. Serial number three is the first. So now we are going to try to uh, sort according to alphabetical order. So let's come to the name side. We press on the small arrow. When we press on the small arrow there, alphabetical order, which will be the ascending A to Z. When we press it, good. So the name of our range in alphabetical order. Uh, Abduwahab, Abduwamanza, Abbeyao, then that. It has actually arranged in alphabetical order together with the serial numbers. 
that's the numbers that are attached to them. But let's check whether the positioning to have arranged. You will notice that the position haven't changed. The position have not what changed. The first is still at the first there. Whilst uh, Agbeya, who was the first number three, or which supposed to come down, the first position is still there. So what it means is that before you can do this, you must before you, you sort out uh, anything, all the columns, um, the filter must be enabled for all the columns. Yes, the filter must be enabled for all the columns. Now, how do we do that? First of all, the mistake we have made, let's go back to our previous. What do you do? By now, you know about uh, undo and redo. If you look at the top there, we have done. That box sign, the save button is there. And we have the back arrow key, which is the undo, and then the front arrow, which is the redo. So let's press the undo to reverse what the mistake we did intentionally. So when I press it, good. It's a reverse. You notice that the 75 on the mark section here have come up, then the agbe hours are attached to it. Now to be able to do this properly, we are going to select everything again, including the, the headings. So let's select all to include the positions. To include, so now we have done this, we are selected to include a position. We'll go down there to select the top left, the bottom left, which is the four boxes there, press it. Our filter has come. We can off it and on it again. You will notice that the filter or the small arrow is enabled for the position to as well. So now when you now press uh, the name side, the small arrow for the name, you press it and sort by ascending, that's A to Z. The name of arranged for in alphabetical order and that has actually affected the positions as well. Has affected the position as well. Congratulations for reaching for reaching this particular milestone. So once we are we are done with this, the most important thing is you take your report book, the name. You can be close all this inside that. Uh, let's. You, we can minimize all this so that the, uh, everything can the red the, the very first red column will get close to the the name so that it will be easy for you or if possible you do the auto rotate on your phone to be able to turn your phone upside for let me do it this way let me enable my auto rotates i'm enable the auto rotate now, when I turn the phone sideways, that is when it's time for recording. Good. You see that I can now see the name on the same screen, just one screen without swiping sideways. The name is there. I ring an alphabetical order. I pick it. I write from wherever to wherever. Congratulations for watching. Make sure you practice it to make the vacation enjoyable. Kindly subscribe and share. We are going to be teaching you how to use Excel to do some of the minor, minor things that we encounter during, uh, during the work so that the work doesn't become too tedious and we spend less time in doing the work. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.